a big nothing. Big fat. Hi, I'm Ariel. You're watching She Wants Addiction. And today I'm going to be talking about Dreadful Young Ladies and Other Stories by Kelly Barnhill. So this is a book of fantastical short stories. And the reason that I picked it up was that I saw like various booktubers talking about it and it sounded interesting to me. I'm here for female villains. I want to see like fucked up female characters. I guess I had different expectations of what this would be because I don't think the women in here were like all that villainous or really even that terrible. So like I guess it didn't live up to the name is why I didn't like it. I don't know why I keep trying to convince myself that I'm gonna like a short story collection one day. Like <laughs> literally like every time I read a short story collection I feel like it's just the weirdest shit. It seems like they just try to think of like the most outlandish thing that they possibly can and then think it's a story and I'm just like, that's not all there is to it. They think, oh, it's a short story. I got to make an impact in a short amount of time. What would be really impactful? It's like they feel like they need to be as loud and obnoxious as possible about it. But yeah, combine two things that I don't really like, the short story format and then like fantasy elements and it was terrible. I think I read it in like a few days. I read like half of it in one sitting and at a certain point I couldn't keep going because I was just so exhausted from trying to get used to like the new fantastical world that she kind of puts you in. Her writing style, I don't know, it, it was not for me. So to give you an example of the stories in here, okay. One is about a woman falling in love with Sasquatch after her husband dies. And then another one is about a anthropomorphized insect. And I don't really know what the astronomer was. I think maybe he was like a robot. So like a same sex romance between them. In one of them, a woman turns into a deer. Like, okay, this author has a very morbid fascination with like animals, like people change into deer and birds come out of people's mouths. And I was just like, what is your deal with the fucking animals and your like animal symbology? Like, I'm not here for it. Like I expected there to be more stories about like women kicking ass and it seemed just more like they were kind of sad and you know, maybe a little misunderstood and not really doing much. I don't know, it just didn't live up to it for me. And I know this is a really popular author. I've never read anything by her, but I don't think I ever would if it's anything like this. I don't I don't think I got anything out of it. And the second half of this is just like a sort of a, sh like a longer short story. I don't know if you want to call it like a novella or whatever, but that just went on and on and on. And like, I thought the short stories were bad, but like I was suffering through that, through that one as well. This is the last time I'm gonna read short stories. This is the last time I'm gonna take recommendations about short stories from people on booktube. I kept trying to convince myself like it wasn't that bad, but no, it wasn't for me. And I see a bunch of people rating this like five, four or five stars and I'm just like, Maybe you were like seduced by the writing, which I feel like could have been maybe all right if she actually had anything to say, but where's, where's my villains? <laughs> where's my women fucking, fucking shit up? Like, I don't, I don't see them. I just see weird occurrences. Why the fuck did she love the Sasquatch? Like, that was not explained. Like, <laughs> you can't just have something like that and then just like not explain why it exists. I'm bothered. Is it, it just sounds stupid. Tell me that doesn't sound dumb. A lady's husband dies and she has this romance with a Sasquatch. <laughs> it just, it's just a thing. Like, I'm not, I'm serious. Like, it wasn't explained at all. One time the Sasquatch hit on her a really long time ago and then they rekindled her, their romance after the husband dies, which that's kind of fucked up. It's like those people that like have people in wait for like when their relationship fails. They're like, all right, I got like three side hoes or something. Like, I, it's a Sasquatch. Except it's, it's just, why? Like, why does there, I don't get why their relationship works. Like, there needed to be more there. I don't even know if this author can write one character that I care about, much less two. Much less a Sasquatch. Much less a romance. Yeah, much less a Sasquatch. My favorite part of this was probably, uh, if you can have a favorite part of something you hate, the one where it talks about the girl that wears the different colors of lipstick and then depending on the color of lipstick that she's wearing, she can make different things happen. That was like literally the only part that I was like, this is kick-ass. I wanna know more about her, you know what I'm saying? I hate it. That's the bottom line is I fucking hate this. And if you disagree, you should tell me why. I mean, I've already watched a couple of reviews on this, but like, 
yikes i feel like i was reading a total different book just because you have the ability to use language like use language well doesn't mean the story that you're telling is actually worth telling or like makes any sense i don't know maybe it speaks to other people everyone likes different things so if you actually got anything out of out of this book like please tell me because i would actually love to know i feel like i got <laughs> a big nothing big fat